Hey everyone, welcome to the March Q&A and uh, must be hot topic high school seniors because we got a ton of great questions this month. So as always, keep them coming in. Uh, first question comes to us from Alkini. I would like to know what type of changes in senior photography you have noticed over the years in your business. Funny you should say that if you, uh, or ask that I should say, uh, if you watch my launch point, uh, or I'm sorry, how I got the shot this month, uh, you'll notice that I'm changing the way I'm photographing seniors. So we, I've watched senior photography go from very traditional, the spot color, uh, or pictures like this, where they're laying on a pillow and it's very cheesy, and just the rose is in color. Uh, so senior photography has been all over the place. Ultimately, you gotta make senior photography yours. It's gotta be about you and what you're looking to put out as your brand. For me, I wanted to have that kind of fashion look uh, to it. So this year, we're trying something new. We're gonna bring that senior photography indoors and use lighting to create a high fashion look for our seniors. So it'll be interesting. Talk to me at the end of the year and we'll see how it's going. But you've gotta figure out who you are, who your client is, how traditional you wanna be, how fashion forward you wanna be and get that look together. But you're running out of time, man. It's March. These kids are getting ready in the next 60 days to start picking their photographer if they haven't already based on the seniors of last year. Next question comes to us from Rebecca. What are some creative ways to get seniors into your studio? Man, that is a loaded question. So uh, there are a lot of creative things you can do. Grassroots, if you don't have a big marketing budget, grassroots is something you can do. Get some of the local seniors into your studio, photograph them for free. In return, ask them to go and talk about it to, to their friends. Or have a senior party where bring two, fr I mean, I'm making this up as I go. Host a senior party and connect with three to five seniors and have them bring two to three friends and photograph them as friends, photograph them individually, go to a local park, make the session short, right? Quick to the point, get great shots, and then hopefully that'll start uh, building some momentum for you. But there are a lot of ways to just, if you put your mind to it, you can get out there and there's no right or wrong answer. This is the beautiful part about marketing. I'm a huge proponent of marketing, obviously. Uh, and so for me, what I love doing is trying something, experimenting, did that work? right? It's kind of like your recipe, like mm, put a little bit more salt in that. So get out there, try it, see if you like it, season the taste, adjust, try again, adjust, try again. And so there's tried and true methods, direct mail, um, Facebook advertising, but I'm assuming the question comes from a, the point of, I don't have a marketing budget. Don't worry, get out there, start working with booster clubs, right? Every school has a booster club for their football team, for the cheer team, uh, whatever the case is, get out there, start working with them and uh, donate to them, donate your time, donate a photo session. That's the best way to do it. And for the record, that's how I did it when I was starting out. I was hustling every single day to get my name out there. Next question comes to us from Tyler. Wallets are going out of style more and more every year. Very true. Uh, recommendations on what to replace them with, keep them there or offer things to switch with. So Tyler, again, our business is evolving this year. More than likely, we're gonna start offering less wallets more graduation announcements, custom design graduation announcements. And in addition to replace those wallets, we're looking at things like sticky albums, Animoto slideshows, uh, things of that nature, because that's the kids are more and more digital. That's all they care about. And that's the direction we're moving. Next question comes to us from Margaret. Any tips for setting up a model rep program? Uh, so yes, the model rep program, the first year is your toughest year. You've got to get kids in who don't know who you, about your studio. They have no idea who you are. And the first year is always the toughest year. That, you know, my first year with the model rep program, we had like two to four kids uh, even apply. And with every kid who applied, everyone was a rep. So everyone won, everyone was a rep. Uh, and that's just the nature of, of the beast. So you got to get out there, run Facebook ads. If you've got friends who have high school seniors, get them to be reps. If you've got kids who are seniors or in high school, get them to be reps. Anybody who is in that junior year right now, those are the kids you want being reps because that's the class of 2016. That's the class we're going after right now. So if, they, if you know anybody, you know someone who knows somebody, that's how you get started and that's how we got started. Next question comes to us from Rodrigo. I would love to know more details about ambassador programs, what to do and what to avoid. Well, Rodrigo, the, the answer, question's kind of the same as, uh, as Margaret's. Uh, I don't know how it made it to this list. We're gonna, we're gonna choke out our Q&A person. Um, but so as far as what to do and what to avoid, let's take the question from that perspective. What to do, what to avoid. Uh, make it easy. 
a lot of the rep programs that I've seen out there over the years actually make it harder for the kids to represent your studio. So for example, there's several studios in my area that actually make the kids use their own pictures to promote the studio. Why? We promote, we create rep cards. In fact, our store has these templates that you can use, but we, pro we produce rep cards uh, for them. They're drag and drop templates. You drop a picture in, it says the kid's name, uh, it has the special on it. It's a five by seven uh, photographic print and they're handing that out in school. Make it easy for the kids to refer you. Uh, some other things not to do. Don't be a freaking creeper. Like guys, we have to be conscious of this. You're dealing with 16 and 17 year old girls. Like watch what you're saying, watch what you're doing, watch how you carry yourself. Do not tell a 17 year old you look sexy. Like that word should never even be, be come out of your mouth. And this whole trend, making these kids look like hookers. Oh my God. Listen, I get it. We want, the kids want to look attractive, but you've got to walk this fine line between making them look one or two years older and then making them look like they're five years older. Look, if you want to do it for your own studio and your own promotion, have at it. You want to run a fashion shoot? Have at it. I'm not, I'm not hating on you for that. I'm just telling you, the, the, you've got to be conscious of who your client is. You know who's spending money? Mom is spending money, not the senior. So with, if mom's controlling the purse strings and dad, by the way, he doesn't want to see a picture of, of his daughter on the wall that is evoking the wrong emotion, that's provocative. You've got to understand that, that you are going to start just sending the wrong message. I'm seeing it run like wildfire in my area. And let me tell you what's happening. Moms are coming to us. They're showing us these pictures from Facebook and they're saying to us, do not make my daughter look like this. That should tell you something. So do with it what you want. All right, next question comes to us from Darcy. What are some great products that the seniors and parents want other than digitals? Darcy, listen to me. I, this is gonna sound like self-promotion, and it, it kinda is, but it's because it's based on reality. We offer a product called Acrylic Blocks. These things are going like wildfire with our clients. Uh, they're a virtuoso product, vbysal.com, and they're about an inch to two inches thick, and they sit on a tabletop, on a desktop, and they come in all sorts of sizes, and we have them out in our studio. They, the kids and the moms are going crazy for it. So that is a new product you wanna start offering. In addition, metals. Metal prints are taking off more than we ever could have imagined with our client base. So these are two new products you can start offering immediately. And then the tried and true ones like uh, sticky albums, uh, that's constantly a hit with our kids, Facebook postings, and then the slideshows. Those are products that are just every year the parents want, uh, you know, and we're delivering it to them not in a DVD format. Don't deliver it that way. I mean, DV DVDs are just dying. Uh, they want it on their phone. So we give it to them in a movie file format so they have it on their phone, so the kids have it on their phone, which is another reason we like sticky albums because sticky albums integrates with Animoto. It's a perfect product for a high school senior. All right. Next question comes to us from Sonia. When senior... Eight, is 18 years old at the day of the shoot, do you have the senior sign a photograph relief, release form uh, or the parents? Uh, hmm, that's interesting. More than likely, we're still gonna have the senior and the parent sign that form if it's that close to the age. Now, just so you know, they're not signing that form on the day of the shoot uh, for the high school senior. They sign that form when they come in to see their pictures. And so at that point, we're typically having the parent or guardian come in it's not too often we have kids that are coming in for high school seniors that are over 18 years old. But just to be safe, have both signed it. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, next question comes to us from Geneva. What are the best marketing techniques through Instagram? I know that's where they are, but I'm terrible at it. Geneva, if you wanna get good at Instagram, just start doing it. Just start using it and that's, that's it. So we don't push out like um, specials, marketing specials or anything like that on Instagram right now. Right now, Instagram for us is all about behind the scenes. That's how we're using Instagram. Uh, even for photographers, we post behind the scenes and then we're posting final images on Instagram, but also on Facebook. But we're trying to drive traffic to Instagram. I think right now, my personal Instagram has about 7,000 uh, followers and that's been built over a couple of years. But the way we're building it is by showing behind the scenes. Hey, wanna see behind the scenes of Susie's shoot? Follow us on Instagram. 
right? So we're take, trying to take our Facebook membership base and drive them to Instagram. And then we're telling Susie like, hey, tell all your friends it's on Instagram. And that's how we're building that momentum. So the easiest way to do it is just start getting out there and doing it and posting pictures. That's the beauty of Instagram. That's why the kids love it. It's not about like, oh, today I'm feeling blue. No one cares. Show me pictures. You're a photographer. That's what it's all about. Next question comes to us from James. What is the best way to market to seniors in surrounding towns? Uh, James, for me, uh, we go after a pretty big radius. We go after uh, Belleville, uh, which is huge, uh, O'Fallon, Fairview Heights, and then some parts of St. Louis. And the best way to go at it, there's gonna be a multi-pronged approach. One is gonna be Facebook, because you can actually target those areas and those zip codes. And the next piece is gonna be direct mail. And I wouldn't give up on either. So we still use direct mail, we're big fans of it, um, but there's no silver bullet. So you can't just do direct mail, you gotta do direct mail, and you gotta do some Facebook marketing, as well as a rep program in each of those schools. And by having that multi-pronged approach, all three of those things working together, that's how you're gonna stand out from the crowd and get a lot of attention and buzz for your studio. Next question comes to us from Elizabeth. Uh, three, three part question. I think you got a little greedy, Elizabeth. You know, we just want one question. So, all right, I'm kidding. Let's get this answered. How to price for profitability. Wow. Um, so pricing is its own conversation, but you already knew that. Here's what I do in my, here's how, okay, high level, sorry. Uh, Here's how I would price for profitability. One, value your time. So for example, charge a session fee. You should not charge one fee and it's all inclusive, i.e. $100 and you get four hours of time and a 16 by 24 and the digital files, you're bundling everything up together. Do not do that. So value your time. Create one session fee and then one pricing for packages. Quick answer to the profitability, your packages What's in there should not cost you more than 20%. That's max. I really like to see it around 15%. So for example, for every $100 you're charging the client, you can only afford $15 of product in there. Hopefully that makes sense. You follow that framework, you are gonna be profitable. Very, very important. How not to compete on price when everyone else in your market charges $200? That's an awesome question. How not to charge on price? What's your value add? What is the difference? What's your X factor? What's the difference between you and your competitors who are charging 200 bucks? Because I got news for you. Average senior in here spends about $1,500. Less, I can probably throw a rock and hit one of my competitors where they are charging $100 for an all-inclusive, $200 for an all-inclusive. How am I competing with that person? I'm not, I'm not competing on price. I'm competing on service. I'm competing on quality. I'm competing on products that we offer. I'm competing on the overall experience that I'm offering my clients. I don't sell a photograph, I sell an experience. That's the best way to do it. All right, next, next part of this question. What kinds of things can you include in your senior collections that cost you very little but are desirable to the senior? Now you're thinking right, that's a great question. So the things you wanna offer uh, to your senior are gonna be things like sticky albums, right? Per high perceived value, low, low cost. But this is where having a package is very important. You can't do everything a la carte. The package allows you to bundle things and have some high margin items along with some low margin items. So for example, an acrylic or a canvas, well, that's gonna cost you some money. Uh, so you need some wiggle room in there to offset it by Facebook postings. So we have Facebook postings, Animoto slideshows, and sticky albums. Those are three things you can start doing immediately that are gonna allow you to stand out uh, from the crowd and make more money. Uh, it's their higher profit uh, item. So you got to keep looking for that. You know, and hey, go to a trade show. If you're coming to Shutterfest, walk through Shutterfest. There's going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of like 50 vendors there. They're going to have all sorts of different products. You should be going to trade shows looking for that item where you look at it and you go, okay, I can see how I can sell this to my clients and, and make money, you know? And so an, a product like a sticky album, which is $199 or $299 a year or an Animoto, same price point, I know I can buy it once, sell it many. Those are huge pro products and profit margins for you to have in your business. So as always, guys, great questions. Keep them coming. We'll see you next month.